Hey guys, Andy here from HammerDrives.net. I know normally at this point you're looking at my home screen and how gorgeous it is and I start showing you an app. But as part of our 101 series, Android 101, I'm going to show you a little bit about recovery. So my phone's off at the moment, no life. I'm going to hold volume up, the, men the menu button, the home button, and then press the power. I keep them all three held down until the screen powers on and I let go of the power. Keep the volume up and the home button pressed and that should load the recovery. Now, first thing I should tell you, I've got Clockwork Mod Recovery 5.0.2.6. Looks a bit like that. Um, I can't really go through how you install recovery because for every phone it's different. Um, but if you imagine the memory on your phone kind of partitioned like a hard drive might be, there's different bits of it are for different jobs. One of the big ones being the operating system. Um, Oh, there's other little bits and pieces. One of them is recovery. So you can push your own recovery into that space, normally using ADB, which can be a bit tricky. And please, if you're going to do it, you have to be very, very careful. Um, recovery is not quite so bad. If something goes wrong, you normally can just push another recovery and you're okay. But when you start messing around in those other little partitions, that's where things can go very, very wrong. So I urge you, if you're not confident with it, if you're not entirely sure that you're doing the right thing, don't do it. Um, either, I don't know, find an expert or just live with whatever you've got, really. Um, a lot of the time, recovery comes with custom ROMs that you get. So this one came with CyanogenMod Mod 7.1. I'm just going to really quickly show you some of the different things you should do in here. Uh, reboot system's kind of obvious. I've never used that one. Wipe data factory reset. If you're coming, if you're changing ROMs, almost always do that. If you're having problems generally, do a fresh install. Wipe factory reset it wipe the cache partition and basically if I was to press that now you then come up with a are you sure and you've got to come all the way down now I can do that anyway it won't make any much of a difference cache isn't all that important I don't want to do that one um, now this one is a very important one so wait for it to focus install zip from SD card so I select that and I then see all the contents from the SD card I scroll up and there's my different zip files that I could flash all at the bottom there, look. Villain, Villain ROM 3.0, for example. Uh, the Google Apps and Synergy Mod. If you do flash Synergy Mod, you need to also flash Google Apps. Because Synergy Mod is such a big um, ROM, that actually got in trouble with Google saying, you can't put our apps on your ROM. So they, you have to get them separately, which isn't too hard. Just Google around. Um, so if I, again, if I was to select that, I'd get, are you sure... Um, almost any, oh and there's a couple of other things there, you generally don't need to do, you generally don't need that one, toggle signature verification, you generally don't need that one, um, so like I said I'm going to keep it brief. Um, backup and restore, very important, very important. And there they are, backup and restore, generally whenever you flash your ROM always do an Android backup beforehand. And what that does, it basically image, takes an image of your whole device and slaps it on your SD card. Now, bearing in mind, that's going to be about 900 meg to a gig. You can't do many of them, but you can back it up to your SD card. You can always then take it off your SD card onto your computer, so you can keep kind of a back catalogue of your backups if you wanted. Um, if you want to restore, in we go, and there are my options. So it, by default, it puts a date and time that you've done them. I then normally would have booted back up, give it some kind of name so I know roughly what it is. So there's my villain ROM installed if I wanted to switch back to that. I've got the Modico blue looking themed one that is. Um, you just press one and it just pushes it back onto your phone. But bear in mind, if you haven't backed up before you do that, you lose everything you have before. So always, always, always do a backup. That is one of the most, that's one of the best things about a custom recovery. You get a backup of your entire phone. Um, and do that anytime you're changing anything within the recovery. Do do a backup, please. There's nothing worse than you flash. Oh, it's only a small flash. I'll, I'll just flash this thing that's going to give me a custom bar on the top. Then your phone won't boot. It's in a boot loop and you're screwed, basically. If you've done this, you go back into recovery. You come to restore and you restore it back and everything's good. Mounts of storage. So when I'm in this, I can mount this um, mount USB storage. Just select that. It's now ready if I plug it in. I'm using the volume keys, by the way, to move up and down, if you didn't notice. I just press it again when I want to unmount. You can mount specific areas. You can format specific areas. Um, advanced. 
reboot into recovery, wipe Dalvik cache and wipe battery stats. So if you're calibrating your battery, you can wipe the battery stats there, very useful. Wipe Dalvik cache is also worth doing when you're flashing a new ROM. So factory reset it, wipe the cache, wipe the Dalvik cache, flash the new ROM, and some people advise go through wiping those three things again. Factory reset, wipe the cache, wipe the Dalvik cache. Anytime you wipe the Dalvik cache, if I'm saying that right, it will take a bit longer booting up again while it rewrites various bits, but don't worry, that's fine. And it's sometimes worth doing just to kind of run maintenance on your phone. Um, we don't use this so much, but some people want to partition their SD card so they can do apps to SD. Now, these days, most Android phones can do that for you, don't worry. Fixed permissions is very useful if apps are crashing generally. If you get a lot of forced closes, come into recovery, fix permissions, that will, su the surprising amount of times, will fix things. Um, I saw someone on Twitter, I think it was Paula, Paul O'Brien, I'm sure many of you know him. He was having problems, he just booted his phone, all of a sudden everything's crashing, he went into recovery, fixed permissions, everything works. Very, very useful. And at the bottom there, power off. So, just a quick recap. Um, apply update from SD card, that's how you would flash um, a custom ROM. Before you do that, you would backup and restore. Then you would wipe data, factory reset it, you would wipe the cache, you go to advanced and you would wipe the Dalvik cache and the battery stats. If you wanted to move the zip file onto the phone at this point, you could mount it and use the storage. So hopefully that's just giving you a bit of uh, info on recovery. Like I said, I'm really sorry I can't show you how you install recovery because it is different on every phone and if I was to say do this, do that, and then someone did it and it didn't, and on their phone it bricked it, you know, I would, I'd feel bad. So do look up yourself how you put custom recovery on your own phone. Hopefully that's giving you a brief overview. Um, if you ask questions in the comments, I'll try and give you answers, although I'm no expert by any means. Um, there you go. And now I'm going to reboot. So, hopefully that's been of help. Let us know in the comments if there's any other particular 101s that you want doing, and me and Roger will do our best to... Uh, to do a short brief. Well, short and brief, I've been seven minutes waffling on that. My name's Andy. Emma Joy's done it.